dear children today we will do exercise 4.9 of unit 4 that is multiplication and we will be doing the statement sums of this exercise so question number 1 is a packet contains 144 balloons find the number of balloons in such 26 packets write the number sentence now here in this question balloons in one packet is given to us that is 144 and we need to find the number of balloons in 26 packets so whenever the information about one thing is given to us and we need to find the information about more than such things so in that case we need to multiply so let us solve the question now the first statement which we will write is balloons in one packet or you can say a packet that is 144 therefore balloons in 26 packets is equals to 144 multiply by 26 so dear students we can we have to keep the statement as simple as we can so no need to write the lengthy statements okay now let us multiply 144 then this is the multiplicand multiply by 26 this is the multiplier now let us begin with the ones place 6 fours are 24 4 we will write here and 2 will get carried over now tens 6 fours are 24 plus 2 is 26 6 we will write here and 2 will get carried over now hundreds 6 ones are 6 plus 2 is 8 now put a cross here and let us go on the digit that is at the tens place now 2 fours are 8 now again 2 fours are 8 and then 2 ones are 2 and now we will add these partial products here we have 4 6 plus 8 is 14 1 carry 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 1 carry is 17 here 1 carry 2 plus 1 is 3 so we can write that balloons in 26 packets is equals to 3744 now we will write the number sentence so number sentence means whatever you have done whatever sum you have solved you have to write it in horizontal form so we have multiplied 144 by 26 and we have got the answer as 3744 this is our number sentence now question number 2 there are 18 sections in a school means in a school in total there are 18 sections if each section has 34 students means in every section there are 34 students find the number of students in the school means the number of students in all the 18 sections we have to find means number of students in one section is given and number of students in 18 section we have to find now let's do the solution so let us write the statement that is question number 2 and solution so we will write first of all we will write there are 18 sections in a school fine now we will write students in each section and they are 34 therefore we will write students in all the 18 sections means in the school that is 34 multiply by 18 now let us solve it 34 multiply by 18 now let us begin with the ones place 8 fours are 32 2 to here and 3 will get carried over again 8 threes are 
27. Now put a cross here and, and let us move on to the tens place. 1 fours are 4. 1 threes are 3. Now let us add the partial products. 2. 7 plus 4 is 11. 1 carry. 2 plus 3 is 5 and plus 1 6. It means students in 18 sections is equals to 612. Now next is question number 3. A man buys 28 liters of milk every day. It means milk bought by a man every day is 28 liters. How many liters of milk will, will he buy in 329 days? Means milk he buys in one day is given to us and milk he will buy in 329 days that we have to find. For this we have to multiply. So let us write the statement. We will write a man buys milk every day is equals to 28 liters. Therefore milk he will buy in 329 days is equals to 329 multiply by 28. Now let us multiply. Sorry, 329 multiply by 28. And now let us find the product. Let us multiply the ones. 8 nines are 72. 2 we will write here and 7 will get carried over. 8 twos are 16. 8 twos are 16. 16 plus 7. 23. 3 we will write here and 2 will get carried over. 8 threes are 24 plus 2 is 26. Now let us put a cross here and let us move on to the tens place. 2 nines are 18. 1 carry above it. 2 twos are 4 plus this carry is 5. 2 threes are 6. Now let us add the partial products. 2, 3 plus 8, 11. 1 carry, 6 plus 5, 11 plus this carry is 12. 1 carry, 2 plus 6, 8 plus 1 is 9. So, this is liters. So milk he will buy in 329 days. So we will write he will buy 9212 liters milk in 329 days. Or you can keep the statement same. Milk he will buy in 329 days is equals to 9212 liters. So this is how you can solve this question. Dear students, it is your choice that how you want to write the statement. Now the next question is question number 4. The price of a toy is rupees 126 means price means the cost. The cost of a toy is 126 rupees and we need to find the price of 36 such toys. When the price of one toy is known to us, we can easily find the price of 36 toys by multiplying. So, let us write the statement. First of all, we will write the price of a toy or one toy, whatever you want to write. A toy is rupees 126. Therefore, the price of 36 such toys is equals to 36 
or you can say 126 multiply by 36 here i would like to mention that we have studied the order property means if we will change the order of numbers then also the product will remain the same so i am writing the greater number first and then the smaller number so that you uh, you don't feel any difficulty in multiplying okay now let us multiply 126 multiply by 36 so 6 6 are 36 6 we will write here and 3 will get carried over 6 2s are 12 plus 3 is 15 5 we will write here and 1 will get carried over to the next place now hundreds 6 1s are 6 plus 1 is 7 now let us let us put a cross here 3 6 are 18 1 carry above it 3 2s are 6 plus 1 carry is 7 3 1s are 3 here we will write it and now we will add the partial products 6 now 5 plus 8 13 3 we will write here and 1 will get carried over 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 15 5 we will write here and 1 will get carried over here now 3 plus 1 is 4 so the price of 36 toys is rupees 4536 so we can write the price of 36 toys is rupees 4536. Now the next question is question number 5. A box contains 48 chalk sticks means number of chalk sticks in one box is 48 then find the number of chalk sticks in 54 boxes and we have to find the number of chalk sticks in 54 boxes when chalk sticks in one box is given we can easily find chalk sticks in 54 boxes by multiplying so let us write this statement this is question number five and we will write the solution so here we will write chalk sticks in one box and it is 48 therefore chalk sticks in how many boxes 54 boxes is equals to what we can do 48 multiply by 54 so 48 multiply by 54 let us multiply 4 8s are 32 3 carry 4 4s are 16 plus 3 19 9 here and 1 we will write next to it now put a cross here 5 8s are 40 0 and 4 will get carried over here now 5 4s are 20 20 plus 4 is 24. Now let us add the partial products. Here we have 2, then 9, then 5 and then 2. Now we will write chalk sticks in 54 boxes are 2, 5, 9, 2 or 2592 chalk sticks are there in 54 boxes in whatever way you want to write you can write the statement so dear students i hope you would have understood all the five questions which we have done today thank you